Hi. Today I'm going to be drawing Miles Davis with oil pastels. This is going to be an attempt at a sort of more realistic portrait than the other ones I've done with the oil pastels so far. Because my other oil pastel portraits were very abstract. So let's see how this goes. Before I began using the oil pastels, I did do a little um, pencil sketch first, just to help me out a little bit. So instead of talking about this artwork the whole time and my artistic process, instead I wanted to talk a little bit about Miles Davis. Um, Miles Davis, he was a jazz trumpet player, and I wanted to make a video drawing him because I found a cool picture of him and because I also just like jazz. Miles started out on trumpet in his teens and then later in life he moved to New York City where he went to Juilliard which is a pretty celebrated um, music school. He was really good at trumpet so he skipped a lot of classes so he could go to jam sessions with other jazz players like Dizzy Gillespie and Charlie Parker who were really famous around the time. After playing a lot of bebop with Charlie Parker um, and that group, he went on to form his own bands and become a band leader. And with them, he'd play a lot of cool jazz stuff, and he'd eventually pioneer modal, modal jazz, which was a new genre that focused on the use of modes instead of like complicated harmony or traditional jazz um, cliches. Miles Davis is known for a lot of super legendary groups, including groups with John Coltrane, Red Garland, Philly Joe Jones, um, Paul Chambers, and a lot of other just incredible players. In this period, um, he released Kind of Blue, which is one of the most famous jazz records of all time, which, yeah, it's got a lot of modal stuff on it. Um, pianist Bill Evans plays on it. It's cool. Part of Miles Davis's signature style was that he used a mute on his trumpet, which gave it a unique sound. Whenever I listen to Miles Davis, I, I think that he always thinks before he speaks, and he uses a lot of space in his solos, for sure. Later in his career, Miles Davis started playing with a lot of younger players, like Herbie Hancock and um, Ron Carter on the bass, as well as Chick Corea and Wayne Shorter. These players were young and they embraced the new style that Miles wanted to take on, which was jazz fusion. So Miles started shifting to a new sound with, you know, electric keyboards and he even got electric guitars to create a sound that was influenced by rock and R&B, soul, and all these other sounds mixed with improv. Some of his most celebrated stuff, like his album In a Silent Way, is this jazz fusion style. Well, this was an attempt at a portrait with oil pastels. I'm not too disappointed. I think this looks okay. Um, considering I've not done too much with oil pastels. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.